following contest is a singles match set for one fall. his way out here, Steven, the stray dog himself, by way of New Texas Pro Wrestling. Bear Brown is one of the most talented individuals that this state has produced with numerous, and when I say the word numerous, there is no exaggeration, like three, four, five. We're talking in the 15 to 20 range of championships that this man has held in his professional wrestling career. The Stray Dog is a prolific athlete. He's been all over the state of Texas, all over the United States, and as we just heard Ted say, even New Japan, Bear Brown is no stray to the ring. He may not be a stray to the ring, but he's gonna have his hand full with a gutter snake. Izzy James. We've seen here in New Texas Pro take on the likes of Rudy Garza battling for that Lone Star Championship that we'll see Rudy challenge for once more here tonight with the champion Lil Evil. Izzy James unfortunately was a part of that five pack challenge back at the Buttsaw Bash a couple of weeks ago vying for that Lone Star Championship. Coming out on the losing end here, trying to get back in the win column here tonight. And what a win it would be against someone like the likes of Barrett Brown. Definitely a way to pick up some momentum, get your name known, show that you're not here to mess around. Izzy James looking for a victory here tonight. There's a souvenir right there for somebody. A little show of respect from both the gutter snake and the stray dog. Even though both of these men have had different career paths, in a way they have almost mirrored one another. Bear Brown and Izzy James, they are no strangers to each other. They have found their way in one-on-one -on -one competition several times throughout their industrious wrestling career. And here tonight, after some time has passed by, they have the opportunity yet again to see who is the better man. That's right, we're gonna see. And it looks like both individuals going to, taking to the mat here in the early goings, trying to one-up each other here. Trying to get an early advantage, looks like neither one of them is going to do so here with the standoff. Trying to reset, might have to rethink their game plan here now as both men lock up. Brown with the waist lock on Izzy James. Izzy, Izzy trying, trying to find a way to break through, get out of it, gets a hold of a wrist lock. Barrett with some impressive maneuvering. Izzy finds his way to get a headlock of his own. Barrett getting Izzy up against the ropes there. Get a rope break here. Able to break that apart, but snapping in. There it goes off the ropes. Oh, had that scouted. No one home on the drop kick. There's a curve a cover. Oh, flipping through another cover right there. It was coming. Two guys trading, pinning predicaments there. Equal shoulder blocks to one another. Izzy encouraging Bear Brown to go off the ropes and try again. Unable to move Izzy James there. 
standing tall on his feet. Now Brown says it's time to return the favor. Izzy James looking for that shoulder block of his own, but maybe a ploy. Oh, Izzy taking him down with a leg sweep there. Drop down by Barrett, and wisely rolling out of the ring, taking Izzy's momentum away from him off the of ropes. Barrett Brown collecting himself. Keep him guessing. Barrett Brown looking to make this a little interesting, throw Izzy off of his game. Barrett Brown is a very intelligent individual. Might have Izzy thinking he was just running away, but I'm sure that's what he wants Izzy to think. Izzy off the ropes once more. Nobody home on that leapfrog and met with a chop there. That irritated Brown right there. You could see it in his face. He said, is that all you got? Chop right there to the chest, but Bear Brown didn't move. In fact, he stepped up and challenges him to do it again. Just eats it. But it wasn't enough. Saying that's not enough. And now Izzy's saying, fine, if you think you can do better, here's your opportunity. I think this is what Brown wanted all along. Oh, <laughs> big punch. Izzy playing possum there. Got him up in a fireman's carry. Brown finds his way out of it. Catches Izzy's leg. No, oh, able to roll through. No one home on that kick. Oh, and there's that stare down once more. Brown just saying, I was this close. To I had kicking you. Kicking your head off. I had you this close. Is he crossing his fingers behind his back? I can't tell. No, can't see. Doesn't appear so. Now, taking advantage of that again. As Brown goes off the ropes. Oh, and meets with a big Claymore-style drop kick to the side of the face. European uppercut in the corner. Barrett Brown, little wheelbarrow, but is he? Oh! Slamming him down, followed up by a senton. That takes the wind right out of Brown. Oh, there's a big chop right there from Izzy James. You can start to see those prints whelp on the chest of Brown. Sending James to the outside. He landed on his feet, though. I'll kill you! <laughs> Izzy James catching Brown with a fist right to the face on his way down. And now Brown face first into the mat. Just eating the floor on the outside of the ring. Is he now giving him some chops in front of this live audience? To having him take a seat right there in the audience. Yeah. You never know, ladies and gentlemen. You you buy a ticket to a new Texas Pro show, you find yourself part of the action, being right in the thick of things. Izzy goes for that chop, but Brown ducks out of the way. Izzy's chopping the ring post. He's got bricks for hands. Big running forearm now to Brown. Shooting him off, but Brown ready for it. Now originally this match was advertised on social media as a triple threat match between these two individuals and Kevin Blackwood. Close line, pinfall, two. Unfortunately, another one of our competitors here on the show tonight, Mysterious Q sustained an injury and will not be able to compete here tonight, thus prompting New Texas management to move Kevin Blackwood out of this match and into the spot of Mysterious Q to go one-on-one -on -one with Lee Moriarty that we will see here later tonight. We will hear from Mysterious Q about his injury status and what will be going forward in the future of Mysterious Q. Little shuffle here tonight, but thankful that we get to see the 50 caliber Bear Brown and Izzy James go one-on-one -on -one with each other. Izzy has bared up. 
Barrett's landing on his feet. Looks like for a discus clothesline. Oh my goodness. Just wrapped his leg around his face. Springboard back elbow from the gutter snake. And here's a cover. Just a two. Only a two count there, but you see Barrett Brown holding his face. The impact and damage has been done to the stray dog. Easy James treating Barrett Brown like a stray dog. He pulled him up there by his beard. Izzy middle row. Brown just sidestepped that drop kick nonchalantly. He's too clever for those antics. That's what he was letting the audience here in Campbell Hall know. Now encouraging him to clap along. Off the ropes he goes. And a punt kick right there to the chest of Izzy James. But Izzy James sits back up. Another one right there, but Izzy's up once more. Izzy is a man possessed. These two have absolutely been dishing out punishment to one another and keep asking for more. Oh my goodness. Double underhook by James, slamming him down there and a cover. Oh, only a two count. I thought Izzy James might have had him there. Definitely has Barrett Brown wiring down. Barrett Brown needing to re-grasp this situation. Barrett giving a stiff shot right there to the face of James. Trading blows right there. These two are asking each other to give it everything they got because if it's not that, they will accept nothing less as they just exchange blows here at New Texas Five. Back and forth they go. These two absolutely just punishing each other. Oh, both forearms, both kicks sending both men down. These two are absolutely brutalizing each other, and yet they keep getting up, going for more. Both men laid waste. Someone needs to find their way back to their feet. Those bicycle kicks connecting with just a little extra juice. Yes, indeed. Referees count halfway there now. Izzy sits up, Brown trying to get up to his feet as well. Crowd moving behind Izzy. Here comes Izzy, full steam into the corner, heading back for building up more momentum and gets him with the European uppercut. Oh, Barrett sliding up with the wheelbarrow. Oh, sending James down. He's got him in a cover. Two. Almost a code red style pinning predicament there, but only a two count. There you hear the stray dog barking in the night. Is he off the ropes, catching that insecurity on the side of the head? This could Here's be it. Oh, only a one, count. one count. Only a one count off that kick. Double clothesline to each other. Off the ropes goes Brown once more. There's the third trifecta of clotheslines. Oh, these Just men giving it elbow. absolutely everything they got. And neither man is willing to go down for a three count here. I don't know, Steven, what is it going to take for either one of these guys to get a win? They are going to have to pull out all of the stops here tonight. What better place to do it than at the five-year anniversary show to be able to say you got a win at this show would do great things for your career moving forward in New Texas Pro. Five years is a special number. Is he here? Exchanging waist locks. These men just know each other so incredibly well. It's hard to even get a grasp of what the next person is gonna do. 
Oh, he's got his shoulders down. Izzy James! Izzy James able to do it! <laughs> Izzy James momentarily was about to get choked out, but able to roll back through it and put their shoulders down of Barrett Brown. And my goodness, Steven, what a hard fought battle by either one of these guys. You hate to see someone losing it, but Izzy James being the victor here tonight. A split second decisive victory here today for Izzy James. Izzy James back in the win column here tonight. And you see Barrett Brown, a little bit of frustration, let down, coming out on the losing side here tonight. But this match could have gone either way. I mean, back and forth, through and through. I mean, you never knew who was going to have that moment where the ref's hand could go down for a count of three. Izzy offering a little bit of sportsmanship here. There, Brown stepping aside. He declines. Yeah, that's right. Bear Brown just letting Izzy know. He said he's this big. No, this he big. wasn't saying he was that <laughs> big. He was that close to winning this match. Unfortunately, Izzy James was able to close that gap and get the three count here tonight. What action have we seen?